Hi guys, it's Stuart here, also known as The Terminator, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I will be just starting a new series called Everything AQW, where I walk you through all of the storylines in AQW, starting with the prologue and the tutorial. So, if you're just beginning in AQW, you'll start off with a class at rank 1, level 1. You can choose whichever you'd like, mage, warrior, rogue, or healer. I started off with warrior so that I can get through these quickly. So starting off when you join and you click go to battle, you will see all these things on your screen. First up here will be your health bar. That's the red bar, 100, it says 400. The one below is your mana, which is at 100. Here's your level, level one. Here are your quests, which brings this menu up. Here's what your face looks like. Down here is the chat. If you say that you are um, older than 13, or whatever, I'm pretty sure you can join any server and you can talk in the chat. And I did just confirm my email, so but we won't be able to talk today because I forgot to refresh the page. But you'll start off, here are your special attacks, starting off with the auto attack. So if I were to attack this guy and hit this, my guy would go up and attack him. Now, to reduce lag, I'm going to go into the gameplay, and I'm going to go into general. Wait, I'm going to turn the visuals on low for now so that we get high FPS. Now you click to walk, it's one of those games, and you see right here is your special attack, so um, decisive strike, a powerful strike dealing 150% weapon damage, so if I were to hit this, we would knock him out in one hit doing 86 damage. And down here you will see my level, which is the pink bar, you will slowly go up in level. And down here is the rank bar. Once you get to rank 2, you get this. Rank 3, you get this. Rank 5, you get your final one. So if I kill this guy another time, I will level up to level 2. Right here is something how you can talk to people. This will give you quests. And you see these arrows on the ground? This will bring you to the next area. Down here is, um, this is how you enter your bag. And I have default sword and warrior rank 1. Right here is how you rest. That's how your character can regain health and mana. And right here we click on the bubble to talk and we get Achievement 23, Communication Badge. So I'm going to kill these people in this room to get XP and gold. And gold can be used to buy better weapons. Now right here, this guy has a quest which tells us to kill the Bone Berserker. Right here is the Burn Berserker, and he only has 5 HP, so we can knock him out in one shot. Says that we have completed the quest, you can go back to the guy, click on the quest, and hit Turn In to get the rewards and to advance onto the next area. Now that I'm level 3, you see my health has gone up, and I will be able to withstand more hits. When we go into the next area, there will be more quests for us to do, but it's telling us to kill a giant slayer, which has a lot more health than all the other guys that we have been fighting. You see, he will attack you back. You can dodge and miss hits, but that is random. As you can see, we knocked him out, but our mana is only at 63. So we hit this to regain health and mana. And then we can kill the skeletal champion. Your special attacks have a certain reload, and they cost a certain amount of mana. If we go into the next area, we'll see here... That guy is asking us to do quest, or not quest, but if we go into the next area, she will be having a shop here. And you see you can buy swords such as this. Now, if you want your sword to be better, you can click on this treasure chest, go to shops, and hit enhancements. You can choose which one you'd like. For right now, I'm just going to pick fighter. And since I'm level 3, I can enhance my class to make it stronger. I can also go down, I can enhance my helmet, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to enhance the new weapon that I just bought. So you got a new weapon, you can equip it by clicking on your inventory, clicking on it, and then clicking equip. There are filters here for whichever one you'd like to go to. And we can head into the next room now. Next room, we can click on him, and we can get our enhancements, like I was saying. But we're going to have to buy one, and we're going to apply it to our default sword, since we already have an enhancement on our brutal sword. Now that we are done with that, we can head into the next room. 
or we can test out our weapon on the dark thing. It did more damage than before, and we've unlocked Warrior Rank 2, which can stun our opponent for 4 seconds. Right here is how we can rest and regain health and mana. We can knock out our opponent so that he cannot attack us, while we can put effective shots into him. We're going to head into the next room, where we can quickly break a brick wall. She doesn't have any quests for us, but we can head out here. Out here. This lady says, I can't look. Every time they try to make the catapult work, something explodes. You need to... You don't think they'll make me test it out next, do you? So you can click on the catapult, and you will be shot in it. We can head to the next area. So, my number one task is to com complete surprises. Best prank, walk up to the outhouse. So there's the outhouse. We're just gonna skip this. Whoops. And now that we've done that, we can head back. Now we can head into this next area. Over here. You can talk to those people to get stuff, and it's telling us to type slash dance in chat. When you do, you will dance. Down there is where you can upgrade your account by paying money for membership. And over here, there's another cutscene that I will skip for now to save time. Right here, he's asking us to kill this dragon, which has 396 health. I'm going to knock him out using the second ability, and I'm going to use the first attack to deal as much damage as possible. Now that the dragon is dead, we can head into the next area. Skip the cutscene. And it's telling us to use our map. We can head into this portal here. Never mind, you can't. And then we can head to the battle arm where we are done with the tutorial. This is like the common area for all the high level and low level people. This person's level 31. Mixed levels sit around here. This is basically where you spawn when you join the game. Now, please click on your map, go to story, and then go to the prologue. This will be where you will start off your quests. Right here, the castle is on fire and you need to protect it from the oncoming enemies. You can click on the fire gem quest, which is not a have to, but it can give you a cool new weapon. And you can sell it for a lot of money. I'm just going to kill a couple of guys to see if I can get it. If I can't, that'll be fine. And they got the fire gem. You can go back to the quest, click on her, click turn in, and I've received a staff. You can click yes to accept it. You can go to your bag and you can see the staff here, but I'm not high enough level to use it. Or I'm not the right class to use it. So what I can do is I can go into the game menu, shops, AC gear, sell your items, burn it down, sell that for 12,500 gold. I'm not going to skip fighting enemies because this tutorial is for starters. And enter the gates, I need to defeat four fire mages. I'm not going to use my knockout, I don't really care if I take much damage. I will add watermarks, or I will add parts in the video that you can skip to in case you're stuck on a certain part. So enter the gates, go back to the guy, turn in, and now I can enter the castle. Now that I'm in Sword Haven, you can click on Ardix, go to his quest, and click on Undead Assault. People will send you friend requests every now and then that you can accept, and then you can battle with them. But you need to slay 10 skeletal soldiers for this first mission. Hopefully our new friend will help us out here. We're gonna go to his quest, click on Undead Assault, turn that in for XP and gold so that we can move on to the Skull Crusher Mountain. For this one, we need to kill 8 Ice Mages. 
we're gonna start off with this one right here there's one of them and there are more in this next room up ahead so we are gonna kill these guys because there are more of them in the room Now that we've killed all of them, we can go back to Arctic and um, turn in the quest. But I got an Ice Orb Staff, which we can use. I mean, it looks pretty good. I'm going to think about enhancing it. But right now we're going to focus on the quest. Turn that in for 200 XP and 200 credits. Now I need to kill the boss of this area, the Undead Giant. Don't worry, it's not a really hard boss, but people always farm him here. Okay guys, so right about here I did screw up. I realized that there were too many people in here for me to kill, or for me to um, easily kill the undead giant people can kill without him really having to here, struggle. So um, in case, um, that's the same case for you and you aren't able to kill him fast enough to complete the quest, just type in chat so slash join spawn, space undead attack. sword haven, or sword haven undead um, hyphen and then enter in a random big number and then hit enter we and it will take you there, to an area instead, where you, we where you will be able to join. kill him. Um, right here, I'm struggling with Haven. it in chat. I joined Sword Haven 3, but it's still undead. the case. Nobody should be in this Sword Haven undead and we'll be able to complete things with any disturbances. Now that we've completed it, we can go back to Arctic to claim our prize. Go to quest, turn it in, receive 300 XP and 300 gold, and we level up. We can now head into the castle undead, and there will be a cutscene. Basically, a guy named Shulp, um, I don't know how to say his name, it's like Shulpshire or something like that, is trying to take over the kingdom. And here are his monsters that we'll have to kill. As you can see, Robina has quests for us. Tale to the Knights. We need to talk to the knights in the area. So we're going to start by heading off to the left. Talking to him. We're going to head up here. Talk to him. Talk to Sir Lime. Going to head into the next area. Going to head down. And we're going to head over here talk to Sir Price, and then we are going to head up to talk to Sir Render. In case you didn't know, all of their names were puns, Surprise, Surrender, and more. So we can turn in that quest, we don't get anything, but now we have to go to defend the throne room, which means we have to kill 300 skeletons. Or, sorry, not 300, 12 skeletons. 11, and soon to be our final one for 12. We have ranked up, but we did not get the on guard because we are not ranked 5 yet. So we can go to the quest, we have successfully defended the throne room, and now we can go to the king. So just head up the stairs and head into this room. You can talk to the king. Hit next, and then a cutscene will appear. This is King Altion. Alright, now we can talk to both of them, and now we have to choose if we are going to be good and evil. 
Now it's up to you but to help us out in future quests and if you want to follow along with the tutorial you will have to become evil, sorry if any of you wanted to become good, but you should be able to figure out from here considering you've made it this far. If you choose evil it will show you Shelp Sh Shelpter's daughter falling out of the water. Now you can go to the shop to buy new stuff, but all of this is for members only. Hit finish and you will join the battle on. But if you go back to story, you'll find out that you aren't yet done and you need to head over to Shadowfall. Now remember this is if you chose evil. Once you're in Shadowfall, you can talk to this guy and he will have an evil shop for you. All of these um, stuff you can't afford, but there is some stuff that you will be able to buy. Like this costs 15,000, we could buy that. I think it's just a bug that everything is red here. But we are gonna go and talk to I forget her name, but just head down here and then um, hit that if you want the quest to go away and you'll talk to Gravelin. Go to the storyline quest. It says you must travel to the crypt in Swordhaven where the knights are guarding my father's cursed student knight armor. Bring it back to me, turn my trust. So we have to go and recover the armor of Sepulchre. We're gonna talk to Sir Cus. And as you can see, to get to the next room, you have to defeat these knights. There will be um, two in each room from now on. And then at the bottom, you will find Sepulcher's armor. You can move on to the next level. Just fight the monsters. And then head on to the next area. And fight the rest of them. but surely you'll be able to take down these corrupted monsters. We've leveled up to level 7 now, and we're going to rest to regain health and mana. We can now go into the next level and bring back Sepulcher's armor. You can fight it, and then you will be brought back. We're gonna knock him out so he cannot attack us. This one is gonna be a close one. 
he critically hit us and we've died. Now, when you die, it will bring you to your respawn screen. And you'll have 10 seconds. Then you can just head back to where you were. Hey guys, so I'm back with the boss here to collect his armor after we died the last time. I'm gonna knock him out this time. Use that, and then we will hopefully put a good amount of damage into him. He did critical hit us, which isn't good for the future, but as long as we can continue knocking him out, we won't have any issues. And now that we've killed him on a fraction of our health, we can rest and return to Shadowfall since we have completed Graveland's quest. We're going to hit return and we will join Shadowfall. Now that we're here, I think that we should probably get some um, stuff like Bonehead. And we could get a cape, but it costs ACs. We could get some other stuff, Dark Crusader. I'm probably going to buy that once I get enough gold. Shadow Cleric. We're going to go for the Dark Crusader since we are a warrior. Since we have a helmet now, we can equip that helmet. And we can head down to here, go to shops, go to enhancements. Like I said, we're going to start enhancing things with fighter. Whoops. Shops, enhancements, fighter. And I said, as long as you just follow along with me, um, you'll be able to complete all these missions. We can enhance our warrior with fighter now, since we've leveled up a bunch. And we can enhance our new helmet, bonehead, with fighter. Oh, but before we can do that, we have to level up. Because um, it is beneath the level. So right now, we're just going to go with no enhancements on that. And we're going to head back to Graveland to see what our next quests are. So if I can get this paid out, I'll be able to fix Shadowfall to its former glory and hire an army to help take down Drakth. Dracoth. You have proven you're worthy by returning my father's armor. Now go to the king's tax collector to get the gold. You're just going to have to return to the castle. Click on this pig. Talk to him. Next. And you will be thrown in prison. There's a prison wall here that you can attack. And that is how you get out. It does have 800 health, which is quite a lot. A little less than the guy that we just fought. Sepultures, but then we can walk through here. Sometimes it takes a bit just to like get through, and then we can walk out. But before we can leave the room, we have to kill King Altium's knights. If you're a warrior, you can use this attack to then beef up your first attack. Because the description is your next two auto attacks taken within five seconds will be powerful critical hits. So when I use this, auto, and auto. So now that we've killed these knights, we can move on to the next area to attack these knights. As you can see, there's others in jail here that weren't able to escape like we were. But they're just NPCs, hanging man and guy holding rat. We just have to beat this next guy, and then we'll be out of here. So, we can head into the next area, and we can hit battle. So, we have to defeat the piggy drake to move on to the next area. So, we're going to use our knockout, our special, so that we can do more damage. Two criticals. Yep, and then you will easily be able to take him out. Hit battle again, and he will open up his vault. And then we can collect the gold. Then we can ret return to Shadowfall, where we can finish our first part of AQW. All you have to do is head back to Graveland, 
go to storyline quest more and done so if you go to story you will see that you have completed the prologue and you can now move on to lord eshon which will be in the next episode i hope you guys enjoyed this the next episode there will be sped up footage of farming people and whatnot and i will see you guys next time bye